I'm Maggie Weldon, owner of Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts. I've been designing crochet patterns for over 30 years and crocheting for over 40 years. I am so excited to be able to share my expertise with you through these videos. If you need help with anything, just write it in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel and our Facebook page is Maggie's Crochet. Our website is maggiescrochet.com. I really hope that you enjoy the video and I want to thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you pattern number PA952 which is called Elegant Easter Eggs and this was designed by me and the skill is easy. In all of these there's a dozen eggs in one pattern and all of these were worked with sport weight yarn. So Lizbeth number three in 75 colors that's available at maggiescrochet.com would be absolutely perfect for these eggs. Absolutely. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. doubt. So um, let me show you the eggs one by one if I can um, get these um, correct. The first one is called Double Eyelet and that's this one here and then you crochet from the bottom and you work up and then there's a little drawstring here and then you hang the ribbon so you can hang it from the tree. So the next one is called Violet because it's got little violets on it. So this is the main cover and then you um, applique the little violets on it and then you have a little drawstring and a ribbon at the top here. And then the next one is called Ruffled. So I think that's this one and there's two rounds of ruffles around this egg. So cute. And the next one is called purple and white shells which is this one right here. And these are all put over the little um, inexpensive plastic Easter eggs. The basic color. This one's really adorable. And then the other one's called daffodil which is this one right here. That's really cute. It's just a solid cover and then the little daffodil put on separately. The next one is pink and white stripes and this one is done differently with the stripes going uh, vertically and then you sew it together and then you gather the top and gather the bottom so you have the cute little pink and white stripes. And then there's the daisy. This one's adorable with the colors. I like the little um, yellowish green ribbon that kind of sets the whole thing off and that flower is adorable. And the next one is called a single eyelet. So that's the pink one and then you run the ribbon through it. And then the other one is called blue and white stripes and these stripes go horizontally starting from the bottom and going up. And then the other one is called um, polka dot. And this is just a solid one and then I took a hole punch and I punched out the little white uh, foam um, sheets that they have at the store and then I glued them on to get the polka dots. So that's that one and then the other one is called a spiral stripe and that's this one right here. So you just, um, I don't remember exactly, it looks like there's a that I worked in the back loops leaving the front loops and then I just crocheted around um, into the um, front loops with a variegated yarn that just changed colors like this. And there's a lot of um, good variegated yarns in the Lisbeth line and um, the yarns that I used for these originally is no longer available but um, Lisbeth like I said is the absolute perfect um, substitution for that. So these would make great little, um, I've seen before like um, just branches of a tree from outside spray painted white and then you hang these um, from them. You might even want to put white lights in them but it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Or you could take little branches and spray paint them white and just put them in a um, uh, like a crock, a little uh, pot on the um, on the, what do you call that thing, the uh, countertop and then hang these from it. So these, this would make beautiful Easter um, 
decorations and that is pattern number PA952 and that's available at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you for watching.